Hello, I'm Roland. Today I'd like to introduce you to the new features of CodeSys in quarter 1, 2024, briefly and concisely. In the last quarter, several updates and three new components were released for the CodeSys development system. We developed a new letter diagram editor from scratch to make it more up-to-date and streamlined. The toolbox is now quite neatly arranged, which improves the workflow. The new editor is now independent of the FBD editor. You can of course continue to use the previous combined letter diagram function block diagram editor. However, for new projects or revisions, we recommend using the new editor. Also new, our CodeSys OPC UI client API add-on. It is free of charge and includes function blocks that manage the connection to an OPC UA server and provide access to variable nodes. Offline help is now available in the documentation area. It can be downloaded as an add-on via the installer. Like online help, the new offline help has a search function and is available in different languages. The new DNP3 library offers function blocks for communication using the DNP3 protocol. Both the configuration of inputs and outputs and the actual communication take place via these function blocks. The use of a PLC as an outstation is currently supported. During the last quarter, we released a number of updates for our soft PLC systems. With the new PLC shell command, rtget kernel info in the CodeSys control SL add-ons, you can now read out more detailed information about the kernel of the host system. CodeSys now supports the Raspberry Pi 5 and the current version of Raspberry Pi OS Bookworm and Debian Bookworm. We have revised the CodeSys installer once again. The version tiles of the CodeSys installer now provide a clearer overview. We also implemented a real-time search in the add-on list and we added an option for using a proxy. Furthermore, security-relevant updates can now be installed more easily. The new start page of the CodeSys Automation Server provides an easier access to the tool. We have also introduced a new, more intuitive color scheme and Google material icons. From now on, you can view all events error messages and logs of the connected controllers directly in the browser. Of course, you can also filter and sort the logs. Service Pack 20 for CodeSys version 3.5 was released on March 20. In the following section, we will discuss the most important new features of this service pack. You can find more detailed information on the features mentioned in our feature briefing, Spring 2024, and in the Features and Improvements presentation, as usual. For the new service pack, we have fixed numerous bugs. Let's now take a quick run through the most important improvements. Sandbox Lite was introduced with service pack 20. This allows you to define a path for repositories when installing CodeSys. Libraries or devices, for example, are stored there. This selection only appears in the custom mode of the installation. We have extended the project comparison in the CodeSys development system. You can now also compare object properties. New in the license manager, a color scheme shows how long a license is still valid. CodeSys Git now allows 
for the scripting of automated Git operations with Python. The scripts are created in external editors such as PyCharm. With Service Pack 20, string encoding in UTF-8 is enabled by default for new projects. All CodeSys features now support this encoding. We have made flow control in the CodeSys development system clearer. If required, you can now select the desired task. In addition, support for the multi-core function in the sequence control has been revised and performance has been improved. With the new SysTime RTC interface, you can easily access the desired time zone. Downloads are much faster with the new service pack. You will notice this especially when working with large projects or many files. The visualization editor now allows you to swipe pages on a touchpad with a single option. If this option is active, you can call up different user interfaces using swipe gestures and thus navigate more conveniently in the visualization. We have also improved the positioning of the elements in the visualization using snap lines. New objects are automatically aligned with the positions of existing elements. Element positions can now be made dependent on the window size of the visualization. All alarms in an alarm configuration can now also be generated for instances of function blocks. The new alarm group template allows you to create alarm definitions for types. Visualization elements can be configured with a new option so that they flash with a predefined interval. Text lists can also be used without visualization in the visualization support add-on component. With overrides for single axis, you can apply a factor to the speed, acceleration or jerk at any time. Code to Softmotion now offers drivers for the Bosch Rechtroth Control X drive over COE and WEG SCA 06 drives. We have developed DHCP client support and an API for the config assembly for Ethernet IP. Conformance test 19.1 is now supported, as are non volatile objects for controllers without read only memory. The Can Open Manager now has an API for changing the heartbeat consumer time. For J1939, we have improved the editor and a function block API for the safety functions of the field bus standard. Kutsis Profinet now has an extended port configuration. Kutsis Bagnet has been updated to revision 23. In addition to the release of CodeSys DNP3, we have optimized CodeSys OPC UA. You can now apply security and certificate settings without having to restart your PLC. CodeSys products are now managed via a lifecycle management system. The lifecycle phases provide you with information on whether and how a product is maintained. If, for example, a product enters the service phase, we will only issue maintenance and security updates for this product. Active further development no longer takes place. For further information on the lifecycle, please visit the CodeSys website. Simply follow the link in the info box. Based on the current status, no products will enter the service phase within the next 12 months. In the next 12 months, the following products, among others, will leave the service phase and be discontinued. Codes' metrics library in quarter 4, 2024. Usage of child applications on March 21st, 2025. A complete list of discontinued products can be found on our website.
Our new product, Coates' Virtual Safe Control SL, was voted Product of the Year 2024 in the Control and Regulation category by the readers of the trade magazine Computer and Automation. Thanks to everyone who contributed to this success. Coates' Virtual Safe Control SL is expected to be available in the Coates store from mid-2024. In the future, we would like to use this new video format once per quarter to present all Coates' innovations. We are therefore interested in your opinion. Did you like it? Feel free to write us your feedback, praise and suggestions in the comments to this video.